Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. We are a non-commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the apps, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 272 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. The US announced plans to provide Ukraine with an additional 4.5 billion US dollars in grants for direct budget support, reports Interfax Ukraine. The US Treasury Secretary said that these funds will begin disbursing in the coming weeks and support core government services. This includes wages for hospital workers, government employees and teachers, as well as social assistance for the elderly and vulnerable. Ukraine received another tranche in the amount of 2.5 billion euros within the macrofinancial assistance program from the EU, reports the SNUA. It is expected that Ukraine will receive more funds by the end of this year. The funds provided are loans, but given on preferential terms. In his evening video address, President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed gratitude to the partners for these important steps of solidarity. He stressed that due to such decisions of Ukraine's friends, it maintains social stability and, despite all the Russian strikes, fulfills its social obligations. The president reminded that since the beginning of the full-scale war, Ukraine has made stable payments to pensioners, that's almost 11 million older Ukrainians. Indexation of pensions was carried out as provided by law. Six million citizens have some sort of social support. This month alone, social payments totaled almost $380 million. This is assistance to those with many children, the poor, single mothers and people with disabilities. Also, more than 2 million internally displaced persons receive assistance from the state. Zelensky stressed that the financial front line for Ukraine is now as important as the front line on the battlefield. The President of Ukraine announced a new Points of Invincibility project. These are places with all basic services including electricity, mobile communications and the internet, heat, water and the first aid kit. They are absolutely free and will work 24-7. These places will become available to the citizens if massive Russian strikes take place again and if there is an understanding that the electricity supply cannot be restored within hours. As of this day, more than 4,000 such points have already been prepared, more are planned. Zelensky called on private businesses to join this initiative. <music> Volodymyr Zelensky informed that Ukraine has to liberate nearly 2,000 more Russia-occupied cities and villages, reports Glavcom. Yesterday he addressed the Congress of Mayors and Heads of Municipalities of France. According to the president, at least tens of those cities were completely destroyed after the attacks of the Russian army, like Mariupol and Volnovakha. He called on French cities and municipalities to provide specific assistance to Ukrainian cities and villages approaching winter. In particular, according to the president, Ukraine needs different equipment from generators of various capacities to star links. Earlier, deputy head of the office of the president, Kirill Tymoshenko, informed that Ukrainian defenders have liberated 1,886 settlements from the Russian invading forces. <music> Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban came to the football match wearing a scarf depicting Hungary that includes parts of neighboring states, more than Austria, Slovakia, Romania, Croatia, Serbia and Ukraine. All of those lands belong to the Kingdom of Hungary until the end of the First World War, reports Interfax Ukraine. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine called such actions unacceptable and invited the Hungarian ambassador. The ministry informed him that Ukraine expects an apology for this incident and hopes that in the future the Hungarian side will refrain from steps that can be regarded as disrespect for the territorial integrity of Ukraine. Orban responded to the criticism, saying that, quote, football is not politics, let's not see what is not there, unquote. The State Security Service of Ukraine carried out searches and counterintelligence activities on the territory of Kiev Pechersk Lavra Monastery, reports Ukrainska Pravda. According to the SBU, they were preventing its use as a cell of the Russian world, verifying the data on the use of the premises of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church for harboring sabotage and reconnaissance groups, foreign citizens, storing weapons and others. The Kiev Pechersk Lara Monastery is one of the oldest and largest in Ukraine, been founded in the 11th century. It is currently used by the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, which is a part of the Russian Orthodox Church, even though with some autonomy. 
According to the media, one of the reasons for law enforcers' interest was that during the service in the monastery, monks and other participants were singing songs blessing Russia. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov called these searches in the monastery Ukraine's war against the Russian church. If you like what we do and would like to tip us, you can now do so directly to our PayPal. Check out the link in the description to this episode for more details. And as usual, you can subscribe to our Patreon. In gratitude for your help, we will give you access to a series of exclusive episodes on wartime life in Ukraine. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine. 